There is a war raging online. Communities that once lived in peace are now battling to see whose pizza reigns supreme and who will be burned to an inedible crisp. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more weird social media stories. In social media, the biggest names in pizza are in battle for the hearts and minds of a nation. This is really important, okay guys? I'm gonna keep this intense voice going throughout this entire story. But how did this tragic war start? On November 1st, John Schnatter, CEO of Papa John's, blamed the company's falling sales figures on the protests at NFL games. You see, Papa John's are the official pizza of the NFL, and the NFL ratings are down. Last year, the NFL saw a 9% loss in viewership, and the ratings continue to drop this season. But there are many reasons why people aren't tuning into football anymore. According to Sports Illustrated, it's not just the protests that are turning people off of football. The competitive same-day fantasy football market has dwindled, football has over saturated the TV market, and many people are turned off by the risk of concussion and brain damage to the players. Just when you thought sports could save TV, I guess we were wrong. But Papa John's insists that it's because of the kneeling protests during the national anthem that has caused the dip in his pizza sales. I mean, but that completely seems to be an extra large lie topped with pineapples, aka bullshit. ESPN reporter Bill Barnwell tweets, the idea that Papa John's revenue slash earnings fell because of anthem protests is ridiculous. Steady decline long before peak protest day, September 24th. To blame it on protests is just not taking responsibility for a bad product, perhaps. Just saying. Maybe you should just try innovating your pizzas. Try making them out of not cardboard. Although if Papa John's wants to sponsor what's trending, I'm happy to help and eat your pizzas. Many have speculated that the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, Hatch Schnatter, tried to shame the NFL into stopping the protests by claiming his business was hurt. Schnatter criticized the NFL saying, leadership starts at the top, and this is an example of poor leadership. Deadspin points out that Jerry Jones and John Schnatter have been friends for over a decade, and that Jones owns over 100 Papa John's franchise locations. Jones is the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, so you see how that could come together pretty nicely. But if poor football ratings means poor pizza sales, that means every pizza brand is in a pinch, right? Wrong! In an investor's call the day after Schnatter's statement, the CEO of Pizza Hut's parent company, Yum! Brands, said they've seen no dip in sales due to protests and have benefited from advertising and sponsoring live sports. And some folks on Twitter took this personally. Some people have decided that Pizza Hut's reporting no dip in sales means they are taking a political stand, or that just buying a pizza is somehow a political act. Wow, just wow. And guys, it's not. It's just pizza. However, Forbes reports that Papa John Schnatter's net worth fell by $70 million overnight due to poor sales, falling stock prices, and Schnatter's big mouth. And that's when the pizza wars became next level. Marcella Arguello tweets, Papa John's would rather blame poor sales on NFL players kneeling than accept the fact that Little Caesars Hot and Ready is for the people. If you pick Papa John's over Pizza Hut and Domino's, then you really need to reevaluate your life. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars, Pizza Patron, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza, DiGiorno Pizza, Tostino's Pizza, etc. is better than Papa John's. Wow, you guys are experts. That's when DiGiorno took this opportunity to start a roast on social media. Might as well, it works for marketing, right? The frozen pizza brand took a swipe at Papa John's on Twitter, writing, us, them. And following up with the slam on Papa John's tagline, better pizza, better sales. Once the news broke that Papa John's stocks had fallen because of the controversy, DiGiorno sliced them again. And Papa John's tried to swipe back by changing their Twitter bio to say, frozen pizza equals the pizza equivalent of a participation trophy. Ooh, harsh. I'm kind of liking this. This is kind of making me like your pizza even more. Like, Papa John's, if you keep this up, maybe people will actually start eating your pizza. DiGiorno was unfazed, tweeting a trophy emoji and saying, isn't it nice? Turns out DiGiorno's social media manager is just as salty as DiGiorno pizza. This is gonna be on ad week, like everywhere. This is gonna go down in advertising pizza history, actually. DiGiorno's Twitter bio now reads, it's not delivery, it's kinda petty. And now that the pizza wars have gone from a substitute for politics to pure pizza enjoyment, the internet is all for it. DiGiorno bragged about their at mansions being fire. DiGiorno also tweeted, everyone, what's all the shade for? Us, you must be new here, welcome. I must say personally, I don't favor either, but I am getting hungry. And I kinda rather support the mom and pops out there, right? 
They deserve some love too. So where do you stand on the pizza wars? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.